The KRF Center for Bangladesh and Global Affairs, CBJ, is a non-profit, non-government and knowledge-driven initiative with its key focus on research, publications, seminars, training, survey, advocacy and related activities on Bangladesh and global affairs. The center engages in study, generates evidence and promotes research on multidisciplinary and multidimensional issues influencing Bangladesh in its policy and knowledge domains, particularly in the areas of security, diplomacy, foreign policy and international relations. The center has launched its video commentary program CBG Discourse for wider access to people who have interest in the issue of foreign policy and international relations. Today, we are presenting our seventh episode on Bangladesh's maritime vision, promoting peace in the Bay of Bengal. As an offshore country, the sea plays an extremely important role in Bangladesh's economy and for many reasons, Bangladesh put a high priority on the Indian Ocean as well as the Bay of Bengal. The above statement of Bangladesh's Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, reflects the demographic, economic and security implications of the Bay of Bengal for Bangladesh and the regional order. Linking the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean, the Bay occupies a central position in relation to global economic flows with an abysmal level of trade, connectivity and cooperation. Over the years, the significance of the Bay of Bengal has been on the rise, largely owing to the rapid growth of the littorals and major powers involved in the Bay. The architect of the maritime vision of Bangladesh, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, underscored the importance of endless sea resources and enacted the Territorial Waters and Maritime Zones Act 1974 to establish Bangladesh's sovereign rights over sea area. Markedly, the ratification of UNCLOS 3 has endowed Bangladesh with important responsibilities, at the same time with her maritime jurisdiction also. Against such a backdrop, the government of Bangladesh enumerated the draft of the Bangladesh Maritime Zones Act 2019, which incorporates a number of issues like sustainable use of the marine living resource, vulnerable ecosystem and fishing. Bangladesh has become a role model in South Asia as it peacefully resolved the maritime disputes with neighboring India and Myanmar, which unfolded a vista of opportunities for optimum utilization of the sea and its huge untapped resources for Bangladesh. The maritime delimitation also paves the way for probing and facilitating the domain of the blue economy, which emphasizes appropriate policies and investments in a number of areas like fisheries, conservation, tourism, energy exploration, shipping, trade and commerce, and coastal ecosystems and marine biodiversity. The Bay of Bengal region has become a geopolitical hotspot, a smart power battlefield with a plethora of ideas like BRI, Quad, Big B and IPS, etc., which are offering new scope and opportunities for investment, trade and regional integrations vis-a-vis -vis putting security challenges like geopolitical rivalry, arms procurement, the Rohingya crisis, drugs and terror nexus. However, Bangladesh has realized that keeping aside the political tensions, cooperation and connectivity at both bilateral and multilateral levels is a crying need. On that note, Bangladesh has maintained bilateral cooperation with its immediate neighbors India, Myanmar, Sri Lanka and Thailand on maritime trade, transit, coastal and shipping. As per maritime security concerns, Bangladesh is engaging in joint naval exercises like Milan, Bongo, HADR, etc. to confront common security challenges in the Bay. A crucial geopolitical development at the multilateral level was the creation of Beamstake, where Bangladesh is playing an eminent role to promote regional and sub-regional connectivity by linking major political blocs like ASEAN, SARC, BBIN and Beamstake. If Nepal, Bhutan and Northeast India are able to effectively harness the bay, they may have the opportunity to fully shift from their current status of landlocked to landlinked. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said, we need to find common strategies to rebuild a sustainable and resilient Bay of Bengal region by tapping the full potentials of the region. Bangladesh, as an emerging power, advocates for the cooperative, amicable, dignified and equitable relationship between littoral countries to extract maritime resources sustainably for the development of the discourse on the Bay of Bengal. Hence, Bangladesh is looking ahead in such cooperation and connectivity which can ensure everyone's development, security and a prosperous Bay. Bangladesh has already launched Blue Economy Framework and Delta Plan 2100 for achieving common interests and sustainable development in the Bay of Bengal.